We all enjoy drinking beer, but where exactly does it come from? We'll be talking about how beer is made from grain to glass on today's episode of Craft Course. Humans have been making beer of some sort or another almost as long as there have been, well, humans. So it shouldn't be any surprise that over the millennia we've gotten pretty good at it. Most of us, though, don't really think about how our beer is made so much as just enjoying that it has been made. To truly appreciate beer, though, it's important to understand the ingredients, the processes, and the hard work that's gone into every glass of IPA, stout, porter, or Hefeweizen that you've ever had. Now, before we get going, let me just say that there are as many ways of making beer as there are brewers making beer. So different styles require different methods, different processes, and there are different traditions around the world. So on today's episode, we're only gonna be going over the most basic methods of brewing beer that are relatively universal. Keep an eye out for future episodes, digging into the, some of the finer details. The first step in making any sort of beer is to make sure that the ingredients are prepped and ready to use. The four basic ingredients used in almost all beer are barley malt, hops, water, and yeast. Notice that rice and corn syrup, not on the list. And if you're unfamiliar with the term malt, all that really means is to take barley grain and allow it to start growing into a young plant and then stop the process and kiln it at high heat for color and flavor. Now, after the ingredients are all prepped and ready to go, the first step that could really be called brewing is mashing. This is where you steep the milled barley malt in a large vat of super hot but not boiling water until it leaches all of the sugars out into that water and makes a sweet liquid called wort. Now those sugars are gonna become important later on, so keep that in mind. After mashing, the brewer moves the wort into a large vessel called a brew kettle, which is basically just a really large tea kettle. From there, they bring it up to a rolling boil and let it continue to boil from anywhere from about half an hour to an hour and a half, depending on style and what the brewer is trying to do with the beer. This is also the portion where hops are at. The high heat and the turbulence of the liquid transforms some of the chemicals in the hops and makes them bitter in that way that we tend to associate with hoppy beers. It also leaches some of the essential oils and other chemical compounds from the hops into the wort, giving it some of those flavors and aromas that we would love to see depending on the style. Boiling also helps to pasteurize the beer. So once it's done, it's important for the brewer to cool the beer as quickly as possible. This helps keep it from getting infected with wild yeast and bacteria that could sour or otherwise throw off the flavors of the beer. And this leads us to the last step in the process, fermentation. The beer is then moved over to a fermentation vessel where over the course of a few days or even a few weeks, yeast, which is added by the brewer after it's cooled down, works on the sugars in the wort to turn it into finished beer. To make a long story short, the yeast eats some of the sugar and creates byproducts of alcohol and carbon dioxide. This helps naturally carbonate the beer as well as make it, you know, alcoholic. Everything that we would associate with beer. So the next time that you're enjoying a pint of something good, take a second to thank yeast for all the hard work it's doing on your behalf. Just not out loud. That would be weird. Every beer we've enjoyed is a result of some brewer's hard work and careful attention. By better appreciating the passion and love that they put into their craft, we can better appreciate what we've poured into our glass. Thanks for tuning in, stay safe, and stay positive. Craft Course is filmed at Dust Off Brewing Company in Rock Hill, South Carolina. I'm Aaron Gore, our producer is Ernest Stevenson, and if you'd like more great content, check us out online at www.beerwith.me. We all enjoy drinking beer, but where does it come from? We'll be going over exactly how beer is made on today's episode of I Forgot What I Was Going to Say. <laughs> uh, I'm grain it. There we go. Yep. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs>
Once the boil is finished, it's important for the brewer to cool the wort down as quickly as possible. Now this does a couple of things. It helps get rid of that. It doesn't do a couple of things. It really does one thing. So, <laughs> It would be a little weird. Yeah, <laughs> I've gotten kicked out of bars for less. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yeast. Crest. Blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. <laughs>